This morning, New Jersey's senior senator finds himself in the defendant's seat as day one of his corruption trial gets underway. Senator Robert Menendez, now in his 12th year as senator, will be sitting trial during one of the most tumultuous times in the Senate, where right now Republicans have a 52-48 majority. Menendez and his attorneys ask the judge that the trial be recessed for the days that the Senate has important votes, but the request was denied. The judge saying that Menendez has the option of being absent from the trial if he chooses, but that the proceedings will not be halted and he will not be given any special treatment. Menendez is facing multiple counts of bribery and conspiracy for allegedly accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars of gifts and campaign donations from Florida eye doctor Solomon Melgen in exchange for using his influence to help Melgen with his business endeavors, including a multi-million dollar Medicare reimbursement case. Senator Menendez has denied the allegation, saying that he and Dr. Melgen are longtime friends who knew each other well before he was elected. Senator Menendez says he did nothing illegal and hopes to be exonerated. Now, if he is convicted, Senator Menendez, a Democrat, could lose his Senate seat, at which point Governor Chris Christie, a Republican, could appoint his replacement. Reporting live this morning outside of federal court in Newark, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. Janelle.